All right, so now we will proceed with the architectural visualization tutorial. Uh, the next thing we're going to be doing, and I'm really sorry for taking so much time to get you guys the next tutorial, but now I can get back to making you guys more tutorials. And uh, yeah, so let's continue. So the next thing we're going to be doing is to cut is to be cutting out the windows at the top walls. That is this top walls. I think in the previous tutorial, the last tutorial that we did, we created this wall. So we're going to go ahead and then cut out the windows in the walls okay and then fill up this area with the wood planks that we need so before we actually do that i want us to enable a setting here called cavity so we're going to enable that in here it should be called cavity here so just enable that uh checkbox there to enable the cavity and you can see it sort of give us this sort of bevel looking surface you can increase that to give you some kind of uh, ambient occlusion effect so maybe the ridge how much ridge you need you can do that and the valley as well you can do that and the depth no i think it's uh what is it i'm not sure but you know we're going to keep it like that for now okay so just to give us that sort of beveled edges all around it so now we will proceed with the uh with cutting out the windows and uh making the wood planks on the side here so we're going to go into edit mode of this piece over here I'm going to cut out the the window over here. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here like this. First off, let me enable this for you guys real quick. So there's one thing I want you guys to know. You can see down here it says button mounts, button 5 mounts, okay? So I'm not using my middle mouse click because it's giving me issues right now. So I decided to move the middle mouse click to the button on the side of the mouse. That's That's the button 5 mounts you're seeing over here. So whenever you see button 5 mouse, it means I'm using my middle mouse click. So that shouldn't confuse you guys. All right. So let's proceed. Now, I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here. And I'm going to add in that loop cut. I want to pull it up here until we have uh, 0.407 up here. So let me just zoom in. And I'm going to press G twice until we have 0.407 up here like this. And now below, we're going to add one below as well. And for that one, we're going to make sure we have about 0.31 down below. Okay, so that's 0 0.31 down below. So I'm just going to make sure I have that just like that. And then on the side here, on the side here, I think it's about, or maybe not the side, from here, from the edge here to the beginning of the window in fact let me show you guys an image so i can explain what i'm showing you guys so i want to go over to the image editor and this is the image i'm looking for so what i'm trying to show you guys is from here all the way to this side is about 3.86 so i'm going to press ctrl and r through here until we have 3.86 in the middle there like this and that's just for it about that uh Cut out over there so what we're going to do is i want to take the face here and the face here and don't forget there's a face also in here right here we're going to select that one as well nope not that one you know let me delete these ones first so there's a face in the middle here this face yeah so we're going to delete that face as well and now what we're going to do is i want to take the two vertices here and press f until we fill the whole thing all the way to the top just like that Okay, so that does it for the side. Now we're going to move on to this piece over here. I mean, this hole over here. So I'm going to go into edit mode. And again, in the middle, we have 0.713. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here. I'm going to press Ctrl B until in the middle, we have 0.713. So 0.713, just like that. And I'm going to accept it now the top and bottom is pretty much the same length that is from here to the top and the one below is pretty much the same length as the one on the side so all i want to do now is to take this face and i want to take the face on the other side as well press x and delete those faces and i want to take the vertices this two vertices and these two vertices and press f and i want to take these two vertices and press f all the way around to fill it to fill in those spaces all right so the next thing we're going to do is to cut out this one as well. I want to cut out this wall over here as well. So let me just go into edit mode. And I think it's pretty much the same thing unless I'm wrong. Yeah, so that's 0.407. But the one below is, is quite higher than what we have over here. So 
So let's just press Ctrl and R2 here until we have 0 0.407 above. So 0 0.407 like this above and below we have 0 0.31. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R2 here until we have 0 0.31 below. All right, I think it's pretty much the same thing. No, 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 no not 0 0.31. I think it's 0 0.105, not 0 0.31. Sorry, guys. So let's take that down until we have 0 0.105. About there. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this face, take that face, and don't forget there's a face in the middle as well. So we have to take that face as well and delete it. Now let's take these two vertices over here and press F until we fill the whole thing in. Actually, I forgot we didn't do one more thing. <clears throat> so let's bring everything back. What we're going to do first is to press Ctrl and R2 here. I think the length here is about, uh, what is it called? 0.39. So we have 0.39 in here. So I'm going to move this here. And let's take this to F. Now let's make sure we have 0.39. I'm just moving. I'm going to press, sorry, I'm going to press G twice until we have 0.39 here. Like, come on. So I have to pull it out a bit. 0.39. I think that's good. And I want to take this to remember we filled this space over here. So I want to take those two and delete that edge in the middle of them. In case you didn't do it, you can just leave it. And now on this side as well, we're going to press Ctrl and R2 here and add in. A loop cut there that is about 0.34 away from the wall so g twice until we have it 0.34 like that and now we can take this face and that face and press x and delete the faces so now we can take this four vertices and press f and we can take this two and press f all the way around all right so that does it for that now the next thing we're going to be doing is to create the uh, the wall for the planks on both sides that is here on this side and on that side over here so let's proceed now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get over here <clears throat> sorry and I'm going to take this vertex over here all right so I'm going to press shift and D to duplicate it and then right click to keep it in place and I'm going to extrude it in the Y axis no the X axis all the way to the other end like this or maybe what we can do is, you know, yeah, let's extrude it all the way to that end, okay? So I'm going to pull it to go into that wall just a bit, like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that edge, and I'm going to extrude it all the way up. That is about, point, I mean, 4.72 high, 4.72 meters high. So E and then X, I mean Z, and 4.72 meters high, like this. And I'm going to give it just some slight thickness. So I'm going to take the whole thing, not as thick as the wall, it's just about halfway thick. Oh, should I put it this way? It should, here's the thickness of the wall, okay? So it's about half the thickness of the wall. So we're going to take this, I think that the wall is about point, point what? What am I seeing here? Point one three. So we're going for about point zero seven or something. So I'm going to take that whole piece and then extrude it in the y-axis until we have 0 0.07 to that point like that. And that should be good. So that's the surface for that area. And we're pretty much going to duplicate this in the x-axis all the way to the other side over here. Except we're going to move this side, this one forward a bit to about here. Let me just make sure it's intersecting accurately. So let me just press G and then Y. Do I have the whole thing selected? Okay, G and then Y. Now I'm just going to have it intersect with it just a little bit like that. Nice. And I'm going to take the ones on the left and pull them out to about there, like this. And that should be good. All right, so at this point, all that we're going to do now is to cut out the uh, the window for this piece and that piece as well. So let's go into let's go into edit mode. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Ctrl and R through here. And I'm gonna align it to the left side until we have the distance from the edge being uh, 0.278. So let's see, 0.2. Let me just zoom in a bit more. 
0.278. That's it. And now the one on the other side is point, point what? Point 0.902. So that's almost a meter. I'll just zoom in, press G twice. Point 0.902. Yeah, there we go. Like that. And now what we're going to do is to press Ctrl and R through here. The one below is point 0.236. So we're going to move it down below, 0.236, like that, and the one above is 1.76, so we're going to have 1.76 over here, like that, and I'm going to take this face and that face and delete those faces. Now I'm going to take these two vertices and that two vertices and press F, and I'm going to take these two these two here and press F all the way around just like that and I'm pretty much going to do the same thing over here so this is just a window a bathroom window so you can pretty much place it quite small you know what let's leave this one for now let's create the planks for this one all right so let me just go into edit mode of this I'm going to take this piece I mean this vertex here and take the vertex at the end here all right so when you shift and D this I'm going to keep it right there. So I'm going to press F and then I'm going to pull it forward just a bit, just so we have a tiny gap between it and the wall. So this is going to be the uh, starting point of a wood plank. So I'm going to press E and then Z, extruding the Z axis until the length is 0.14. So I'm going to have 0.14. It should be about there. So that's 0.14. I'm going to take the whole thing. I want to extrude it in the y axis to give us the thickness of the wood. So I'm going to press E and then Y. I want to make it about this thick. I think that should be good. Let's, let's pull it out just a bit more. I think that should be good. All right. So now all I'm going to do now is to take this, press Shift and then D and then Z. And then let's leave a tiny bit of gap between each of them like this. So let me see, maybe around there should be good. I'm going to press Shift and R and duplicate it all the way to the top. Like this. And I think that is pretty good, right? Yeah. So now all that we have to do is to go through and, uh, and cut out this piece over here. So what I'm going to do is, let me just take, let me just take all of this. We'll take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and I'm going to hide them. Now, the reason I actually duplicated them all at once is because I wanted to use the Shift R, that is the repeat tool, so that the space between each of them is equal. Okay, so now let me just hide the others. So I know some of you might be suggesting we, we could have just, we could have just cut the plank before duplicating it so that this area we wouldn't have to do them one by one, but I think here's what we're going to do. So let me just take all of these now to the bottom. I think all the way to here. And then to that one, I think. Let me press G and take a look. Okay, maybe not this one. And I think that's all we need. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to press Ctrl and I and hide everything else. And now let's get to the front view. And what I'm going to do is actually, let's bring everything back, all right? So I'm going to deselect this one. And then let's hide everything else. Okay, so now let's go over to the front view. I'm going to go into edit mode. So I'm going to press K to bring up the knife tool. And I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to press Z and then C. And then cut it all the way down to there. I'm going to press the space. I'm pretty much going to do the same thing over here. Press Z and then C. And then let's cut it all the way down to there. Just like that. Alright. So now all I'm going to do is to press X and delete the faces. Like this. Alright. So now I'm going to go through and then press F to fill in the gap for each of them. And once we have all that done, we can now press Alt and H to bring everything back. 
just like that and you can see we have that kind of going on so yeah this is pretty much where i'll be ending with the i mean this video in the next video we're going to be cutting out this one and then creating the one wood planks for it and also creating the roof for the whole uh villa that is the one that covers this area so yeah i'll pretty much end this one here and i'll see you guys in the next video